Hi guys, welcome back. Yesterday I showed you how to create your own, basically an instant website on Weebly. And today what I'm going to do is take it a step further and really help you do something that is extremely important for your marketing. And that's how to create a capture page in under 10 minutes using this same software I helped you create a, a website with yesterday. Now first things first, if I sound a little wheezy to you guys right now, or I'm breathing a little hard, uh, please excuse me. Um, I'm I just got an asthma attack this morning, and uh, I live in California, so as you know, it's a bit smoky over here right now due to the fires. Um, but please bear with me, and I'll be done as soon as I can, and I'll try not to breathe too hard. So I already showed you how to create a website and how to register your domain with that website. So I'm going to go back into one of the websites I've created. So I'm going to go. I've already logged in to Weebly.com went into edit website it's loading all right excellent all right so what what we're gonna do is go to pages up on top here and I'm gonna create a new page and we'll call this free website so it's kind of funny. I'm going to create a capture page that where the bribe is, I'll show you how to create a free website. And that's what this video is about. So, Okay, it's kind of funny. I know, lame joke. Sorry. Okay. So where it says show, show in navigation, but no. Because you want this capture page to be um, private and separate from your main website. Unless, of course, you're doing something like I'm doing, which is like, trying to create a website that attracts traffic traffic through the search engines then putting an opt-in on your main website is okay there but I just want to do a, a capture page type of thing so I picked it alright so it's a hidden website I'm gonna go back to elements actually no don't go back to elements go back to pages it'll actually give you the option here edit this page so edit this page now you see there's no elements right now so that's okay so if you remember from I think it was the fourth bootcamp newsletter and if you haven't received it um, you can go to attractionmarketingformula.com forward slash for capture dot htm okay you guys got that all right so if you remember that part you're gonna you're going to know that there's a few prerequisites. There's a few things you have to know about creating a capture page. You just don't don't, don't throw an opt-in. So the first part of your capture page is actually um, where is is you want to put a prehead, and I'm having trouble finding the proper element for this. Give me one sec. Okay, paragraph. There you go. Okay, so it's a pre-head. So it's a pre-headline. It's nothing too big. It's going to be in bold. So bear in mind, this is going to be a capture page about showing people how to create their own websites in under 10 minutes, 5 minutes, whatever you want to put. So a pre-headline qualifies people. So the first thing we do is we want to qualify them. Make sure they're at the right, right website. So our question is, having trouble creating your own website? then learn dot 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 and this is the transition to our headline and I'm going to put this in bold excellent there's your pre headline very easy now we want to create our headline so we go up here back up here and go to title drag and drop there it is our title text so the title text generally is more uh, has a bigger font stands out more so here my headline is going to be how to create a kick-ass high-end website instantly, even if you are a complete computer for 
absolutely free. Now that's not grammatically correct, but you'll learn that in copywriting it doesn't matter. So I also wanted to stand a little bit more, so what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to increase the font a little bit. So increase font, increase font. Ooh, okay, that stands out. Let's see. Center, and maybe pick a color. I'm going to use red. That's pretty standard for headlines. There you go. Maybe I want to decrease the font a little bit. Maybe it stands out too much, too crowded. And these are the little things you're going to have to kind of tweak with. Uh, Update the color again. Perfect. All right. Cool. So our next part, next part is actually going to be to create the subheadline, and what the subheadline is basically plays off of the the headline. So you kind of just continue on the same path. But the important thing that a subheadline has is a call to action. So here it is. Have your website up and running in five minutes forget learning how to program or HTML learn to use the secret tool no one is talking about. Dot, dot, dot. Okay, I did something very important here, guys. So, one, I in at the beginning, I talk about a benefit. Have your website up and running in five minutes. That's a huge benefit. And then I talk about a little bit about pain. What the pain that people go through. And actually, this is this comes from the questions you guys have submitted over the past uh, few weeks about technical expertise or trying to trying to figure out how to create a website even though you don't have any programming or HTML knowledge and then I so that's what the middle part addresses then I talk about the secret tool nobody is talking about and really I didn't know about this this uh, website until I went to a high-end marketing seminar, and this website's absolutely free. There's absolutely no catch. I, I've, I've trust me, I've looked. I've tried to find a catch. There is no catch. So this is awesome. So this is having a free website for a lot of businesses is a big deal. They want to have a website, but they don't know the first thing about how to get one. So, but let's continue. All right. So I have the, the subheadline, and if that's all they read, and then they want to opt in after that. And we've done our job, guys. We don't even. Uh, we, the, the most important parts of this capture page have already passed, other than the opt in. So now we're going to create some bullet points. So now a little thing here is uh, it doesn't have a feature for bullet points on this thing. So we're just going to kind of do a equals and arrow, kind of get a bullet points. But it's okay. So I've come up with a few bullet points. You guys can come up with your own. Stop paying the rent a coder and Elance lackeys. So, if you guys don't know what a rent a coder or Elance is, those are uh, online marketplaces for you to hire contractors to do this type of stuff actually, website development, programming, anything technical, or actually, even copywriting. Uh, say you don't want to write your own copy. You want to just don't want to take the time to learn it. You think your time is best best spent doing other things. Then uh, you go to Elance or Rent a Coder, and those are great resources. But I'm sure there's people that are apprehensive about hiring contractors. Not sure if they're going to do do a good job. You know, you have the perfectionists out there like myself. So people like to want to do stuff on their own first. Just on, it's just human nature. So, so if you guys have been following me, I'm just typing out bullets that really kind of drive home the pain of an entrepreneur or would-be entrepreneur who wants to have their own website but doesn't know the first thing about how to set one up.